Uh, what's this? A double Christmas Eve upload from Johnny Blocks? Yes, it is, boys. Earlier today, we're gonna talk about this thing right now, and then later tonight, we of course have FNAF AR. And if you don't know what's in store tonight, check out my last video. So, boys, FNAF has finally gone physical. This is the first FNAF game to receive a physical copy, Help Wanted. This is exciting, dude. Honestly, this is amazing. I do have stuff to talk about, uh, that is not quite so amazing, but just the idea of holding FNAF in my hand is phenomenal, right? It is something that we've been waiting six years for. Maybe just a tad bit strange that it started off with Help Wanted instead of FNAF 1, but that is simply- sorry, this is gonna sound terrible as I open this up. But that is simply because FNAF 1 is bundled in with the core collection releasing on January 15th, I believe. So here it is. Help Wanted, physical in all of its glory. The front cover, really, I have nothing to complain about. The back, however, oh boy, we got some stuff to talk about. So the front cover, as you can see, it's just the, you know, it's just the art of Help Wanted with all the faces melting together. It's got Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. It has Steel Wool. Down here it has Maximum Games, which you may not recognize. That is because they are the publisher of the physical copies. And then of course you got Teen down there for all those kids that don't believe this franchise is actually for teens. Of course I picked up the Nintendo Switch, but the PlayStation 4 uh, physical copy is also out right now. Mainly because I just don't have a PS4. I will be playing a bit of Help Wanted on Switch in this video, but I'm just gonna live stream the rest on Twitch, which, hey, if you're not following me on Twitch, what are you doing? So the back is where we really gotta talk about some things, Steel Wolf Studios, whoever put this box art together, we gotta talk, okay? Everything else, really not that bad, right? Everything down here, I, you know, nothing to complain about. You know, you got the warnings, you got all the people that made the game right here, Steel Wolf, Lionsgate, um, helped make the game itself. Scott, of course, is the guy behind this entire franchise, and then Maximum Games, again, is the publisher of the physical copies. But the top bit, right? The top bit is where I have some things to talk about. The screenshots are not bad. It says, Classic Frights Reimagined, new horrifying experiences, brand new characters, and fun, 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 uh, with all the screenshots of FNAF 1, Freddy Pots and Service, uh, plush babies and nightmare Fred Bear's night terror. But up at the top, right, this banner here that says, Welcome to your new job. Survive terrifying encounters with your favorite killer animatronics in a collection of new and classic Five Nights at Freddy's trademark experiences where fantasy and fun come to life. So that's not bad. It's just the characters up top. As you can see, some things just aren't checking out. Some things are just not the way they are supposed to be. Hopefully this is focusing, I don't think it is though. But anyways, as you can see right here, Toy Chica, FNAF 1 Toy Chica, her hands are huge, and she's holding the FNAF 1 cupcake. Why? And then Mangle has both of their eyes, even though they should be missing one of them. It looks like Toy Bunny's arm might be a bit, you know, bent, might be a bit photoshopped, but really that's not as noticeable as some of the others. Yeah, Toy Freddy has no upper teeth. Mangle has blue eyes. Looks like they have a pink tail when it should be white. Just a lot of uh, unfortunate things going on with these characters on the back. So hopefully they can get those all fixed for future uh, releases of the physical copy. But if they do do that, eh, do do. I always like having copies of things that weren't meant to, to be. You know, like I have the original updated edition of the Freddy Files where it uses like fan-made models for the UCN map. I like having that just because they're not being made anymore. So if they change this, I do not mind having this, you know, having poorly, you know, accurate characters on the back. I think, you know, it's pretty cool to have stuff that isn't being made anymore. So on the inside, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, right? It's nothing special. Um, and on the cartridge, cartridge itself, you know, it's kind of basic. It's just got Five Nights at Freddy's Up Wanted with, um, what, who does it have? Maximum Games in Steel Wool, again with the teen rating. Not much, there's no art or anything, it says Nintendo Switch. I'm not really bothered by it, I know some people are like, oh, it would've been cool if the, um, the characters were on there, like, um, how they are on the cover, but really, I don't mind. I think it, you know, it looks perfectly fine in my opinion. Now, I actually do not own FNAF Help Wanted on Nintendo Switch, so this is gonna be my first time playing it on Switch in this video, so let's do that right now. There it is, boys, there it is. Oh, that's awesome. Again, I've never played this on Switch yet, so 
This is my first time. Here they are. Hey, gang. What's up? Okay. Um, yeah, I have yet to play this on Switch, so I have no clue. Okay, so it's the D-pad. Let's just do new game, right? Press B. I don't know why it's B. Usually it's A. That's kind of messing me up. All right. Should be the title sequence. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear. This isn't that bad on Switch. Fazbear Entertainment is Can I skip this though? <laughs> I've seen this many times. I'll just skip this. Can I pick this up? How am I gonna pick this up? Oh God. We do, however. How do I pick that, that up? Agree to a I don't know how to pick that up. You play. You Why? Acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital, digital consciousness, consciousness transfer. Real, real world manifestation, manifestation of digital characters, characters nightmares, 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 nightmares,
Hopefully they're gonna work on that, but at this point I kind of doubt it. Ooh, a lemon bar. Let's go. Here, I'm gonna go into FNAF 1 just so I can get one tape. Because again, I want to see what Glitch Trap looks like. Also, I want to see what FNAF 1 looks like. Okay, so you got X and Y. Can you go into free mode? You can. Okay, good. Nice. So, it's pretty good. Again, this whole game on Switch, really good, actually. Pick that up. Get a coin that's down here. Oh, God. It's glitched into the drawer. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Another one right here. And so now, hopefully, I should be able to see him. I do want to peek out here and see... How do I... Hello. Yeah, it's very good on Switch. Surprisingly, it works very well. There he is! What's up, dude? Dang, dude, you looking fine. <laughs> awesome. So, that's really all I wanted to check out. Again, I'll do more on this over on Twitch at some point soon. Very good. I will say, very, very good on Switch. And I love having a physical copy of FNAF. It's just incredible. I've been waiting years for this. Everyone has been waiting years, and it's finally here. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.